Sure. Josh, how, how you doing today? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me on the show. Oh, absolutely. Let them know uh, what legislative district you represent. There's 19 legislators mm -hmm. in Nassau County. It used to be supervisors, and then they went into the form of legislators. Uh, what, 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 again, district you represent, and what would you like to say about the national theme and, of course, what happened to George Floyd? What's his name? George Floyd, as the crowd calls out. Uh, what do you want to say, sir? Sure. So again, my name is Josh Lathazan. I have the privilege of representing District 18 in the legislature, Syosset, west to Roslyn, north to Bayville, so northeast Nassau County. Uh, what I want to say first and foremost is, of course I condemn the horrific killing of George Floyd and those who came before him, but as I said in the video I posted on Facebook, it's not enough just to condemn. We must take action to make sure that we put safeguards into place so that what happened to George Floyd and those before him never happens again. What I'm working on here in, in Nassau County, one of the most segregated counties in the nation, is that in order to fix a problem, we have to acknowledge that it exists in the first place. So I'm looking to gather a coalition, and especially young people, we're the largest, most diverse generation in the history of this country. And that's why young people, it's so great to see them on the front lines of this movement. But we have to understand that Nassau County has a dark past with systemic racism and injustice about how Robert Moses built bridges so low so black residents couldn't go to our beaches, about how many of our grandparents came back from the war and moved to suburbs like Levittown, backed by low-interest federal loans that weren't available to black Americans, many of whom just fought in that very same war. We have issues here in terms of segregation, in terms of unequal school funding, where you have a school like Hempstead, majority black and Latino, with an average student spending per, per pupil of about 22,000. You move one block over to Garden City, 77% white, and they spend $7,500 more per pupil. These are facts. So what I'm working on is we have to get these facts out to the people and we have to move to level the playing field. If we don't have a level playing field, we have what we have now, which is privilege. So I'm working on bringing out folks in white communities to recognize and acknowledge that white privilege is real. It is real. We have to get to an equal playing field. That, to me, is egalitarianism at its finest. When anybody born in any zip code in this country can make it, can, can, can make it here, that, that, that is America in a nutshell. And as the son, sorry, as the grandson of a Holocaust refugee, my grandfather always told me how the Jewish community stood with the black community. How Re Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel marched with Dr. King. How Mickey Schwerner and the freedom, you know, they, they were killed in the South for registering black voters to vote. The heroism of these people. The Jewish community is still with the black community time and time again, and it will continue. And I know that my future children are going to ask me what we did during this moment. James always says, what are you going to tell your kids? And what are you going to tell folks in a few years about what you did during this moment? I'm not going to tell them I stood on the sidelines, and I hope you don't either. I'm proud to be a friend of James. I'm, I'm, I'm proud to have a mentor and coach me during this moment. I'm proud to stand with him, and I'm proud to stand with all of you. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, again, we hope some of the, uh, you know, some, some people hear this video. And like you were saying about Goodman, Swerner, and Cheney, how they went to get people registered to vote, and then they were killed and, 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 and put into a ditch to where they dredged the ditch out and found their bodies. So, again, I thank you, legislator. I appreciate you. If people wanted to get in contact with your office, sure. how can they do that? Sure. So, two ways. One is you can email me, jlafazan at nassaucountyny.gov. But I am a millennial. I'm 26. So, you can just DM me on Instagram. The DMs are open. I want to hear from you. And this goes out to the young people as well. Young people often say, you know, I'm young. Millions of people in this country, how can I make a difference? Well, there's a millennial representative right here, and I'm looking to hear from you. If you have an idea for change, if you have an idea for a law in Nassau County, if you want to vent your frustrations, if you want to be heard, I want to hear you, and I'm always going to be here to listen. At Josh Lafazan on Instagram. Again, thank you for having me on the show, James. All right.